Hi, my name is Mackenzie Henson. Hi, my name is Lily Schmidt. And we're a Purdue's ASCE chapter, and we're in charge of Bridge Bust. Bridge Bust is a competition where we invite high schools from five different states to come and compete at Purdue to build balsa wood bridges. So today we're going to tell you about some key tips and tricks for building bridges. So generally speaking, um, what you're going to want is you're going to want your balsa wood, your glue, you're going to want parchment paper or wax paper, um, and then also a template. And you're also going to want an X-Acto knife. Generally speaking, what students think are good bridge designs um, are straight up members, or we call them zero force members because they have they hold no force. So they're really just there for decoration. So this one is a bad bridge design because one, it's pretty much just the frame. These members right here aren't really going to hold much. It's really going to be these slanted ones right here. You're going to want also some more members up here in between as well um, because if you think about it, the bridge is going to be under all these members are going to be under compression, so you're going to want them to hold that compression when they're being smushed. For this one, this one's going to be good because you have all these different trusses right here all taking the, um, a different part of the load. So it's going to be able to hold more because they're all holding different parts of the load and not just these four members right here all holding the load. So say we are going for the Pratt. Um, you're going to want to do this in Sharpie. Uh, and then begin to tape the actual paper itself down. So we're going to tape down the parchment paper as well um, so that the parchment paper doesn't move whenever you are putting the balsa wood on. So um, all your dimensions should be correct. Then what you're going to want to do is grab your X-Acto knife, your glue, and your balsa wood. So what you're going to want to do is make sure this all lines up here. So here we're going to take the X-Acto knife, this one measures up length to length, and then you're going to measure out exactly where your bridge ends. Once you have both bases, you tape down this portion of it whenever you start cutting. Because then, whenever you cut the rest of your members, it'll be easier to measure um, because you have this portion right here. Um, so whenever you accidentally push against here, it won't move. Um, so then, like I said, you're going to section out all of this, and then comes the gluing. Generally speaking, you don't want to put like all of this glue on it and just glue the entire joint. That's bad bridge design because you're not relying on your actual design, you're, re you're relying on the amount of glue that you have. Because glue also does add to your weight. If your bridge is very, very large and, and very heavy, that means that it's going to take a lot of money, it's going to take a lot of time, and also depending on what happens and the elements around it, it actually could be worse than a lighter bridge. Um, generally speaking, all you really need is that little bit of glue in between these two members. Now we're going to put two sides of the bridge together. Once you have glued everything together and it is dried and everything is good, you're going to take all your members up from the tape and from your template and you're going to have your two sides. Now, it's easier with another partner um, so you can be in a two-person team or a one-person team. So if you have a two-person team, generally what you can do is you have your two members and you would place this one together and then you two would hold it here and wait until the glue dries. But like I said, it is still possible with a one-person team by grabbing, I'm going to use this as a cup and we're going to use this or you can grab anything else that's sturdy like bookends. Those are also good. I like those. What you can do is set up this one right here, balance one of your sides like so, and use this one here and balance the other one. Then you can hold these two joints here together until it dries. These two will hold your bridge like this upright, so then you can glue, say, this piece or this piece and the top pieces. And then you can hold those pieces in place. Now that it's finished, we have our bridge. On the day of the event, we're going to use these materials to test your bridges. Now, we're going to hook this chain up through one of these S hooks. Then, we're going to put this bar through the bridge. We're going to stabilize the bucket here at the end. And then, we are going to grab our sand and our cups. And we're going to gradually fill this bucket with sand until this bridge breaks. Now. I'm going to load this sand in very slowly. It may break as soon as I load the sand in, but I will jump backwards, and also that's why I'm wearing safety glasses. Now, here we go.
Uh, okay, Are really. you seriously made it too strong? <laughs> <laughs> We just want to say good luck to everybody. Hope they're better than my design and more like her design. We are very excited to see you in February. So if you have any questions, email us. If not, good luck. Thanks for watching.